Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. As part of restoring my old copy of Hero Quest, I need to strip a lot of miniatures and pieces of furniture in order to repaint them. I'm going to be doing a lot of painting videos as part of this restoration project, so I thought it made sense to do a separate video just showing how I go about preparing the miniatures before actually applying any paint. So we have here a FEMA, one of my favourite miniatures from the game, and you can see there is some paint applied from the previous owner. And we are going to remove that. There are proper paint strippers you can get. There is a paint stripper I know called BioStrip, but I don't use any products like that. I just use Dettol antiseptic liquid, which is chloroxylenol. You can pour this undiluted onto miniatures and after a while the paint will just peel off of them. Of course, when using anything like this, there are a few things you need to bear in mind. You should always test it on a small product first that you don't mind damaging just to make sure it's going to be okay. Also, if you're using this undiluted, you should use gloves. I don't, but you should, especially if you have dry skin conditions, eczema, um, cracked fingers, or if you are allergic to chlorozylenol. It is also a good idea to cover any surface you are using because you don't want to splash undiluted Dettol on there and then find out that it's going to mark your work surfaces. Basically, just treat it as you would with any other chemical. Be careful with it, test it first, make sure you're not going to cause any irritation or have an allergic reaction to it, and just take care. But with all that in mind, using it is really simple. You just need to pour undiluted over the miniatures and leave them to soak. When they've been soaking for quite a long time, I use a soft brush to wipe off most of the paint, and then I will use a stiff toothbrush just to get into the details and scrub it all out. After it's all been rinsed off, you should have a clean miniature. You may occasionally have a very small amount of paint left in very deep recesses, which you can normally pick out with a pin or a cocktail stick, or dose it in the Dettol a second time, and then just go at it with your stiff toothbrush and that should get it. And at the end of it, you should have something like this. This is the first miniature that I soaked in Dettol just to make sure it wasn't going to have an adverse effect on the miniatures at all. And you can see he's cleaned up rather nicely. This particular miniature has lost a weapon. We will be dealing with that in a moment. But first, we need to deal with mold lines and nubs. The Hero Quest miniatures were cast as single pieces, and that means they have quite prominent mold lines so we need to deal with that at least to a certain degree first of all we have to deal with the little nubs on the base and i'm just going to use a mold line remover holding it at a 45 degree angle and just scrape those off on both sides the mold lines are quite prominent on these miniatures um, and you can spend a lot of time scraping them all off i don't worry about it too much but i know some people will um, really spend a very long time getting them neat but I just scrape off the most obvious ones just to speed the process up a little bit of course this miniature has a broken weapon when you have a broken weapon you have choices if you have the broken weapon in the box you can glue it back on if you don't have the weapon you can do a little conversion find something from your bits box and glue it on or you can go to eBay and buy a single miniature single miniatures in the UK at least are relatively inexpensive fortunately for this femur, I actually had the missing axe in the box, and he was my only damaged piece. There had been a previous attempt to repair him, so there was glue on the miniature, so I had to scrape off all of the glue residue that was on there in order to prepare it for the glue that I am going to use, which is plastic glue. Plastic glue actually melts the plastic slightly, and you get a much stronger bond, and is um, really good for fixing things like the broken weapons. I'm using Citadel brand, but of course you can use any plastic glue. You don't need to use really expensive Citadel branded stuff. So all I'm doing here is I'm just making sure I've got the axe the right way around. It will only fit one way because of the way it snapped off. And once I've done a little dry fit there to make sure I've got it right, I'm applying a small amount of glue. As I said, it does melt the plastic, so do not apply too much. You don't want it to splash out all over the detail of the miniature. And then I've got my axe and I'm trying to line it up as exactly as I possibly can. And you will need to hold this for a little while just for the glue to take. But after about 30 seconds of holding it, the glue should take and you can safely remove your hand. 
And then you just need to leave it to set to make sure it's completely firm join. And there we have our finished femur completely clean of all previous paint, um, cleaned up, mold lines removed, um, nubs removed from the base, axe reattached, ready to be spray undercoated and then painted up. On my channel over the next however long it takes me to restore this copy of HeroQuest, there will be plenty of painting guides. Um, so keep an eye out for those. For now, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you've really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.